Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this, I'm going to, we're going to see the problem. Count the number of houses at a certain distance one. Again, we will see the certain distance two also, which is the more constrained problem. Here the constraints are very less, which is actually nothing but 100. But in that prop like two, one, we have constrained as 1e5. We will see that problem also, no worries at all. But in this, the prerequisite for this video is that you should have watched this specific video that you should be knowing what is Dijkstra's, what is Floyd Warshall. Now, just write on YouTube, Floyd Warshall by RN Mittal. You will see these three videos. This is the main video and the above two are the practice videos. Again, if you cannot find it, just write lead code weekly contest 377 by RN Mittal or by weekly contest 119 by RN Mittal or you can write two, two problem, name, problem name. Uh, lead code 2642 by Armental or the problem name by Armental, you'll still, you'll still get the videos itself. But I highly recommend go watch this 30 minute video. It will give you an entire glance of what is Dijkstra's, what is Floyd Warshall, when we use what, what is the difference between both of them, how to know that which one is useful and so on and so forth. Now, coming back to a problem, I'll give you a brief explanation because I realized now that I recorded but the screen was different. So, so basically we have n houses numbered from 1 to n and between every consecutive house i have a path a street right i have a street and basically a street you can just represent that as a distance of one now there's a one more x and y which means you will given okay x and y where you can add one more street okay you are given x and y where you can add one more street although very basically for n houses for every consecutive house you have a street in between them but a special street is designed between x and y house now you have to tell what you have to tell how many such pairs of houses are there whose distance whose minimum distance whose minimum distance again minimum, minimum number of streets again is minimum distance minimum distance between them houses pair is actually a k now as soon as a minimum distance kind of thing came in picture we got to know one thing okay it is asking us to find as the minimum distance between two houses and that house is it can be any houses so for sure as soon as it asks me to find the minimum distance from a house 1 to any other house, it can be house 2, house 3. So for sure, the thing which would might have come in picture is Dijkstra's. But then I realized it can be a house's pair, which means I can form a house 1 to house 2, house 2 to house 3, house 3 to house 1, house 1 to house 6. So, so it can be any number of pairs. So I wouldn't have to find minimum distance from house 1 to all the other houses which means 2, 4, 3, like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from house 2 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from house 3 to 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 so which means I will have to find for all the possible pairs of house which is for all the possible houses I have to find the minimum distance from that house to all the other houses what is the minimum distance and what whatsoever is the distance okay that distance came out as k i just have to populate okay how many such pairs were there how many such pairs were there so in general we have thought okay we have to figure out for all the possible pairs shortest distance for sure i will have to use my floyd washer but i can use floyd washer i know that floyd washer takes o of n cube time can i spend that much time yeah for sure i can so yeah one thing is for sure I can use a oh, Floyd Warshall algorithm to find the minimum distance. So again, I will simply use Floyd Warshall. Floyd Warshall is as basic as this. It is a simple three for loops. One for loop is on K, one for loop is on I, one law for loop is on J. And then you have your distance between I to J, which means you have your node I, you have your node J. You just have to minimize the distance between the node I and node J. So you will take help of the node K in between to actually hop onto node K and then go on to my node J to actually minimize the distance between node I and node J. If you don't understand this, please go and watch the previous video in which I have explained what uh, file washing is very deep now that will be nothing but you have to minimize the distance right between i and j so minimize the distance by keeping a hop at a node k okay distance of i to k plus distance of k to j and that's a three liner code of Dijkstra's. so you are using a hopping node in between you want to minimize the distance between from i to node j 
and with this you can form a simple matrix which will give you the distance minimum distance from every node to every other node so now i can see from node 3 to node 4 i have the minimum distance as 1 from node 4 to node 2 i have the minimum distance as 1 from node 5 to node 1 i have the minimum distance as 3 so with this with the simple loop you have populated your minimum distance from one node to every other node but remember the question was asking okay for the minimum distance k how many such pairs are there so for the minimum distance of one again the indexing is one based here so for, for minimum distance of one how many such, such nodes are there so i'll go on to my matrix and i will ask how, bro how many of you nodes have the value as one so he will say one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so ten like my ten pairs have a value as one so my answer for k equal to one is ten okay what about the k equal to 2 which means how many such pairs of nodes have the minimum distance as 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 it's a 8 oh yeah answer is 8 how many have minimum distance as 3 again we'll go on 1 2 oh it's just 2 okay it's 2 and for the 4 and 5 it's no one so no one so that's how i'll simply firstly make this matrix by using floyd version when i have made this matrix i will just get the count of all the minimum distances for count of one will be 10 count of one like i'll have a map let's say map of one will be a 10 map of two will be a eight map of three will be a two map and that's it like map of four will be actually a zero and map of five will actually be a zero now when this map is made i will use this to populate my answer my answer is a simple uh, vector so now this is a one based but actual indexing are zero based so i equal to zero i equal to one i equal to two i equal to three i equal to four and so on and so forth so for i equal to do i know it is actually for k equal to one so i will go and find the answer for i plus one so i'll put the value here as mp of i plus one i'll put the value here as mp of i plus one and that's why i can simply populate this entire matrix by simply giving it an order map let's say the code is pretty simple actually very easy it's just that how you but it's just that how you simply make the entire uh, distance grid so here the distance grid i have named as graph again remember it is the distance grid which is trying to minimize your distance between every pair of nodes so as simple as that you know that okay you have to pair up the houses which means houses one two three four one two three four you have to put one street between the consecutive houses like this like this with a distance of one that's a undirected edge which means here also and here also so i'll just do one thing okay i'll start my i from here this is my i minus one i'll name this i minus one as j so you can see i minus one is named as j and i will just simply put an edge between i and j which means this is and putting an edge between i and j i and j and basically an undirected edge so graph of i to j will have a distance of one because i will have just one street between them and the same for j to i just one street between them r in what about the nodes themselves which means i to i it's a zero j to j it's a zero okay that's a simple a uh, zero zero i to i zero j to j zero now when this portion is done you had one extra street with you so if your x is not equal to y because for sure if x is equal to y then the distance between them is zero which you have already done you should not put it as a one because else you are just overriding the minimum distance and you wanted the only the minimum distance so what you will do okay if x is not equal to y then you will just simply place one straight which means one distance one edge between them of a distance of a length one or, or, or of a distance one and then x to y a distance one y to x a distance one now you have built your distance array entirely which is a matrix which you are making now you simply populate the matrix by using a floyd washer which is simply a three liner k is the middle node i to j is the node i to j is the minimizing okay from node i to node j you are trying to minimize that so you will just have graph i to j you will just simply add to minimize okay i to j i to k because you are taking a hop at k hop at k and then you try to minimize your distance from i to j simple for floyd washer code Ultimately, when we have operated the entire matrix of Floyd Warshall, you can simply use the entire, like you, you can use simple map and iterate on the entire, although this is not required, you can simply make the answer and then use it itself. But yeah, for simplicity, for you to understand, I just made a map itself to keep the track of all the shortest distance pairs count. So I can just iterate on the entire matrix of graph and for the every shortest distance, I'll simply increase its count.
and then I again ultimately populate my answer by saying okay for i my answer will be i plus one as I showed you earlier also and that's the answer which I can return. I'll take o of n cube time and o of n square space to solve this. The question, the basically question is how you can improvise that. For that we will actually be bringing the problem to which is the second part of this which is the certain distance to in which just the constraints are different and we will see how we can solve this. That's a very good problem, very hard problem. But yeah, we'll see that.